All right, this is Chaotic Crypto, where we defy tyranny. It is January 22nd, 2024, and we are continuing the pullback, which is fine to be expected. And uh, honestly, it's it's really just healthy. Uh, we'll take a look at a few things here. But we are breaking, we broke down the trend. Uh, previous bullish trend of, uh, I guess, support. It's, it's been broken now. So uh, more than likely, it's going to happen over the next few weeks, probably the next couple of months. Up until the halving in April, probably just going to have a correction. It's going to be, I don't know how bad it's going to be. There's no way to know about that. But uh, the areas I've been looking at, 32K, 35K, we could come down just a couple thousand more to like 37. That could be it, possibly. Um, but we, we really want to come down back to like 32 that's really what the uh, area that we want to come back to. That was our previous resistance. Made or it was our previous resistance from our last breakout. So if we take a look at this area, so when we got out of this bearish trend, the collapse of Celsius and Voyager and FTX and all that terrible from 2022. Um, 2023, we recovered, went up, we banged against this resistance about 32k, 30 to 32k, and uh, and then the end of the last year, 2023, we broke out of it, and we went up to almost 50k. I mean, that's awesome, like 40, 48, 49k. That's you know, that's that's a pretty good run. But uh, we're gonna have to have a correction, and if we want a very healthy market. We want to come back down and retest this previous resistance as support and then bounce. And that will that will give us the propulsion that we're going to need to get back probably to around 80 to 90K. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know, what's going to, you know how this is all going to play out. And I think the next year, a couple of years, are going to be probably pretty bullish, honestly. Um, you know, Some people are just calling for you know, 70 or 80K. I've been kind of targeting about 120, so we'll see about that. Um, but the, the altcoins have been completely <laughs> looking pretty rough. Uh, but I've actually this is a very good, uh, I guess, opportunity to get back into where we were probably a few months ago, before the crazy rallies. I mean, we got near protocol went up to four or five dollars. It's now at 261. Wow. Makes you want to buy even more of it, actually. Yeah, that's just that's awesome, honestly. Like I'm, I'm actually excited about this. I mean, me last cycle, I've been kind of bummed out, to be honest. I've been kind of probably depressed about this, but this is a very positive. It's good. And once you realize where we are in the cycle and the charts, you want to see these pullbacks. Like near actually looks really, really interesting here. See, like, Near Protocol already has come back to his previous resistance, and hopefully we'll make this support around this this level. But it went up to four dollars and thirty fifty cents. And you're having that's pretty nice retracement there. Let's see, what does that come to? About forty percent. Yeah, 35, 45, 50 percent. Sometimes you get sixty percent retracements. That's a that's a your bit. It's a gift, really. It's it's a gift. Let's see, eight thousand times cheaper than Ethereum, Poly Automatic, on Near Protocol integration. So I mean, it tells you right now, Polygon and Near are uh, they're working on stuff and things are working out. <laughs> uh, just from a trading point of view, I mean, the technology I'm not as familiar with really. I mean, I do use Polygon some on the bridging. It's it's kind of annoying, honestly, to use a lot of that stuff, but. Okay, near foundation to lay off four percent of staff while new Web three careers emerge. I don't know why they lay off people when new careers are emerging. I don't know. That must have just dropped more because I didn't even realize that. And you know, falling wedges is what this kind of was. You usually tend to break up, but it did fail that. But what often will happen? You'll have a fake out. And then come back in and then go up. A lot of times, it's what the markets do. They like to fool you, take your money, and then uh, 
make you come back in and lose money again. It's just you, you don't want to rely on your emotions, that's for sure. Ontology looked like it was going to break out, and then it kind of just went back into it for its thing was. It's like a Web3. I take I forget exactly what it is. But I get like 18% on Atomic or an Exodus wallet for holding it, so I tend to be a fan. Ooh, Cardano is looking pretty juicy. Let's see what the. I mean, a lot of these coins in the last week have retraced like 30, 40%. Let's see. We're down 30% with uh, Cardano. We're down. 30% with Atomic. And usually the, the bigger the moves, the more that they'll tend to uh, retrace. We're down 36% on CRO token. This is prime, <laughs> prime territory to try to get back into coins that you like, oh, like you're, you're beating yourself up about, oh, why didn't I get into that project? It really mooned. Well, this is your 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 second opportunity and probably your last opportunity this cycle to get back in and a lot of these coins if they do really well this will be the last time you'll ever see these prices again so in it's a good thing is like if you did hear about those coins and you just missed out um, more than likely they were good coins especially if you heard about them like the news was talking about them if cro crypto.com it's probably it survived the bear market i mean assuming it survives the rest of the the next few months, it's it's going to do great. Like so, this is an opportunity to get in, and it would be more than it be a twelve x to its all time high, twelve maybe fourteen x. So it's crazy, crazy good opportunity right now, crazy good. The more I think about, it, I'm actually like, <laughs> I bought some today, but I actually want to buy more now that I'm talking about it. So that's another reason why I started this channel, just so I can give myself some accountability and get myself in the mode and just really yeah, keep myself in check really but uh, yeah whoever's watching please uh, hit the likes hit subscribe leave a comment below love to interact with anybody who's on the same journey as me Let's see ICP I know corrected a good amount I mean 35% corrections that's pretty legit I mean if you look at Bitcoin, and it's actually, I'm kind of curious, real quick. How big has this correction been so far? Uh, we've only gone down 13%. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's only gone down 14%. <laughs> so, and if that shows you anything, actually, no, it's a little bit more. Apologies. Oh wow, that actually hit my target perfectly. Oh, man, didn't even notice that. Yeah, so I mean, uh, we might be able to call it twenty percent correction so far. And generally, if Bitcoin corrects twenty percent, the altcoins will correct thirty-five to forty or fifty percent sometimes. And uh, you know, it, it might, it's probably not done. You know, I really hate to say it. 32,000 probably will be a target. And that kind of makes you wonder what the altcoins are going to do. How bad are they going to bleed? They're probably going to bleed pretty bad. I mean, they could break support and come on down. Could, there's a lot of things that could happen. You know, I'm really hoping they don't happen. <laughs> because you know, even I have positions that are open. Yeah, but if you look at Bitcoin and old cycles... Let's take a look at this. And this is from long ago, but in a healthy, you know, cycle, bull cycle, you'll rise up and you'll correct. You'll correct here. This correction. This is very similar. I feel like this is a pretty similar correction to what we just had. And I feel like this was kind of the disbelief rally that we just had. This that's what this would be. Um, you're looking at, yeah, this was a 26% correction. So we're almost there. I mean, we might only go to 37K. I really want to see a 32. But um, here's another one, smaller one. 
19, 20%. I wouldn't even count that as a correction, but maybe this one would be 30%. About this one. Thirty-nine percent. About this. It's thirty percent. Twenty-three percent, thirty-two percent. Then we're in the bear market. So it's just we have to expect to have twenty to thirty percent corrections at the very least. And if we come down already, see if we come down all the way to. Um, yeah, that's support of 32.33. That's a 35% correction. Well within the, the bounds of normalcy. And you know, it's good to have an idea. Like, you know, what if it goes down lower? You know, So I mean, 30K, 28K, absolutely could happen. So just be ready for that type of stuff. Not trying to spread doom and gloom. This is like a really good opportunity to get in the markets, though. I mean, I think everything looks really healthy. It's, we're retracing, we're cooling off, we're cooling off the RSI, Relative Strength Index. i show you. I was looking at this earlier. So we're down at 59 on Bitcoin. Now, what I found was interesting in the, la in the bull cycle, I'm not going to count the last one. I think this cycle is going to be similar more similar to 2016, 2017. But we're, we are getting pretty close even to these late lower levels, but yeah, hopefully we don't go this far. But uh, if it's going to be like 2016, 2017, you know, it was common to come down to this level around 50 to 60, the 50, 60 level right in here. And we actually hit this level quite a few times and bounced. One would be, I'd say, here, one was here, here, here. So, I mean, it's possible even that this RSI level, like, you know, this week we probably, we may get on to 37K, 30K. Even this week we can go to 32K. And then if we bounce from there, at the end of the week, we'll still be set up in a different, decent position. We could come down a little bit lower, maybe to like the 50 region, and then that would be a healthy retrace so we can continue to bull market but it, it's overall it's it's very positive it's we, we need a cool off period let's see is there any news bitcoin is a minor to mirror historical trends sets 120k price prediction for 2024 that'd be crazy if, if bitcoin goes to 120k in 2024 <laughs> I don't know. I don't want it to go that fast. I would like to see I don't know, a prediction. Should I make a prediction? I'll make a prediction slash hope. By end of 2024, let's see, December, I think we're challenging all-time highs by the end of the year. And that 120K prediction seems very unlikely. Uh, I would, I would uh, maybe for 2025, a top for sure. I could see that, but yeah, that's pretty far fetched. There, there's still a lot of resistance. And apparently, double tops usually there's a lot of volume in these types of situations. So it's very, very. It's probably tough to break that. So that'll take time. Anyway, we'll. Yeah, my prediction would be that like we're challenging all time highs by end of the year 60 to 70 K if we go faster than that actually I'd be worried and if we start topping if we get to 120 K by the end of the year that would be a move to right here at this point that'd be very aggressive very aggressive <laughs> I don't, I don't want I don't want to see that personally, because that would tell me I think the end of this bull cycle is going to be at the end of this year. But I'd rather I'd rather that not be the case. So again, I'm pretty positive 
I'm pretty, you know, I'm happy that we're getting this correction person. It's giving you another opportunity to get in. People are like, oh, I'm too late. I'm like, no, you're not. In three months or six months or a year, yeah, you'll be too late. You'll be too late. Like you'll get two or three X, and even then you'll probably buy, and it'll be that same price two years from now. But uh, Theta was one got hit pretty hard. Thirty-five percent down. I think this one, it's retracing. It's it's taste testing its, you know, previous resistance and support. So I mean, a good bounce here would be great. And then you come up to fifteen dollars from ninety-four cents. That's a fifteen X. And that's what I've been thinking about where you could be going from there, right? I mean, 20, 30, 50 bucks. That'd be crazy. It'd be crazy if it went up to like fifty or hundred dollars. But that that kind of move is certainly possible. It's it's completely possible. So just be ready for these things. And this year, the next three to six months, or what is the time to get in and go? <laughs> so again, thanks for anyone who's sticking with me. Um, H bar had a pretty good correction down thirty percent. I don't think it's going. To, I, think, I mean, looking at these altcoins, I don't think the they're going to correct much more. Uh, again, a Bitcoin might crash a little harder, uh, but it might be quick, and it might not take out some of these other coins quite as bad. Um, let's see here. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. I was going to look at the yeah Bitcoin dominance really quick. Doing a little scissor move. Ah, is this the end of the dominance? I really feel like it is. I, f I feel like we're just going to fall over from here. But if we, if we get a big crash and all coins get slaughtered pretty hard, it's possible we'll get some more dominance. But, I, you know, I don't know what would make Bitcoin more of a hot commodity than 11 ETFs being approved all at the same time. Uh, uh, apart from the U.S. putting it as its balance sheet, um, or the having, I mean, they'll do things, but I don't, uh, the last having. All right, let's just see. It would have been in 2020, and when the having happened, you know, we did get one big more push up, but that was at the end of the year. So I mean. I don't know. You know, I, I, I think I think Bitcoin dominance is topped out. We're going to start heading on down, and uh, probably retracing this level. That means the altcoins are going to be hitting it hard. It's going to be exciting. Let's see, 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 see. Let's see. And the total market cap. Let's see where we're at. We are breaking down. 1.47 trillion is kind of one of my targets. Another one is 1.26. You can throw another one in here, maybe here. Previous. Yeah, something like that. This area. I can see that being a pretty strong line. I like that. But it could get pretty ugly. I mean, I, I'm kind of torn as to how ugly it's going to get. But at the very least, it's just going to get boring. And these are all coins. All coins, you might you might get another fall down to like here. By then, this line would have come up. So 600. So you might get some better prices here. But for me, I'm dollar cost averaging as, as best I can right now. Get some good entries. And that's that's it. This is this is the chance to get in. That's basically the point of this video. <laughs> so if there's if you're into it, if you're looking for coins that you want to get in and you didn't get in six months ago and you're bummed out, uh, right now is the time to get in while the prices are correcting and getting into those buy zones. Because after this, it's it's you're gonna be buying little dips and you're not gonna be getting those fifteen hundred X's. You're, you know. You'll be getting three and five X's six months to a year from now. So hang in there, hot along. I'm going to jump off here, get some food. But uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you.
Catch you tomorrow. Hopefully. Peace.